The client won't buy my idea. Um, why are they so conservative? Um, who's ever heard that in presentations? Who's ever had to witness all of that? I, I suppose what I wanted to do today was just give you a bit of context around why that's happening and what you can do about it. Um, because we do an awful lot of innovation work and, and we deal with boards of companies and we deal with marketing people and we deal with product development people all of the time uh, in markets all around the world. And I just wanted to give a bit of context and hopefully some useful advice about how to get your idea through, get it sold, uh, get it made. Um, it's just some context. Uh, I'm sure you're aware that we've just been through, and some would argue we're, you know, certainly if you're in Spain or Greece, you'd, you'd argue we are still in the world's worst global <coughs> recession since the Great Depression. Um, it, it was politely called here the GFC, which amused me greatly when I came here from from New York City, where um, nearly 100,000 people lost their jobs in Manhattan alone in the banking sector. Um, so we've had seven years, the response from businesses has been seven years of essentially shrink-wrapping our businesses to squeeze as much profit out as we possibly can. And what does that look like? It looks like redundancies, it looks like uh, uh, squeezing cost out, taking cost out, so that we can deliver the numbers. Um, and if you're in the board of a large uh, organization that would probably be quite familiar to you but essentially you've got boards who for the last seven years have presided over cost-cutting measures which if you've ever sat in a board meeting is a relatively easy thing to do somebody comes in and says here's what we're going to do we're going to cut costs here and it will drop straight down to the profit line and we'll deliver a bit more EBITDA and the board looks at each other and looks around and says Actually, that's a, that sounds like a great idea because delivering our numbers is what we're really here for and governance over that. And are, are we sure that's the right thing to do? Cut costs? Yes, I think that's probably the right thing to do. So we've had seven years of this, making our businesses smaller and smaller and smaller until you can't squeeze it anymore. Um, we now look like uh, there, are, there are signals, certainly in, in North America, that we're beginning to come out of this global recession and certainly if you're a business trying to get out of a recessionary, shrink-wrapped kind of environment, the only thing you can do is grow. You're going to have to grow the revenue line. You have to grow the top line. Um, it was Peter Drucker who said, um, innovation and marketing, everything else is cost. And it's very true, right? So you, you, you've got to market your way to growth. You've got to de develop new products and services. You've got to launch them into the marketplace. You've got to grow. But it's very unfamiliar territory for people who have served on boards for the last seven years where all they've had to do is make the business smaller. So the board isn't used to this and it trickles down. It trickles down into your ideas. It trickles down into the marketing departments, into the product development departments, into the sales departments. It trickles down in terms of um, 15 people, uh, 15 layers of approval of a single idea. And you, you just scratch your head and you go, why the fuck are all these people involved in this project? It just seems like there's an eternal number of people getting involved in this project and it's not necessary. Why? Because the board are mandating that we take risk out, that we manage risk, that if we're going to do innovation, if we're going to grow, this kind of stuff scares me. Imagine, if you will, seven years of cost cutting and yes, that, tick that, yes, we can cut that cost, yes, we can cut that cost, yes, we can deliver that EBITDA if we do that. And then up turns the, the, the CMO who says, actually, we've got a better idea. We're going to grow. And to do that, we're going to invest a billion dollars in this new product line. Um, and uh, we expect it will probably generate quite a lot of money for us, but we're not entirely sure. Um, would you approve this, please? Of course, the reaction is a scared one. Uh, one that's pushing back, one that's trying to understand all of the components attached to this and what do I do about it. So how do you get your idea made? How do you get your innovation through? How do you get your growth strategy across in a way that it's going to get sold and your innovation gets made? Well, we, we see about five kind of lessons, five principles, if you like, uh, in, in order to, uh, that, you, that you need to think about in order to get your, uh, get your innovation made in an environment which is anti-risk. Um, the first is create a business case. And if, uh, how many of you are in advertising or in an agency? Quick, 
show of hands. How many of you make products and services and work on a client side company? Okay, back, back, uh, half and half. Um, it, it, it's quite unique to um, agency people to have to create business cases. Um, a business case which says this is a profit uh, and loss statement for this product or service. Um, this is uh, uh, how that business is going to work. Uh, this is why we should do it. And this is why it's inevitable that if we don't create this change, then, n then our business is going to go south. Um, creating business cases around ideas is something that most people are very unused to doing. But we need to, be get, we need to get better at it. So creating business cases is the first case. Uh, a, a business case for change. The second is looking at be best practice. Um, agencies in particular are terrible at doing this because they just invented the idea and they're original and it's the first time this idea has ever happened. So how can there possibly be any best practice for this? But there probably is. We need to look for ideas that have already been made, that are similar, that are in adjacent markets, that are in other overseas markets perhaps. Who else did this? It's one of the first questions that the board will ask you around your innovation idea. Has this been done before? And that's not a negative question. They're not challenging that you're not original. They want to know who else did it and what can we learn from their mistakes. Third is risk management. Again, not something that we're terribly familiar with in the marketing area. In fact, we rather like the idea that uh, well, our job is to create loads of risk and, uh, and new ideas and opportunity. And we're born risky, aren't we, because we're marketing people. But actually, you need to manage risk. You need to mitigate risk. You need to understand where there is risk. You need to calculate risk. You need to quantify it. And you need to be able to say, this is what we're going to, going to do to offset the inherent risk in a new growth or innovation strategy. So risk management is the third area. The fourth, and I'm, I'm hearing more and more around this, is this concept of design thinking. When it comes to innovation and to new ideas, nobody, nobody will pick up your idea. Your idea will not stick, your innovation will not stick unless it solves a customer problem. So if we understand what the customer problems are and what the unmet needs are, even if they're unexpressed, and bake them into our new thinking and our new ideas, then we've got something to lever off of. That's what design thinking fundamentally is about. So what need does your innovation answer? What problem are you solving? And then finally, uh, the, the fifth principle is one called rapid prototyping. In other words, learn by doing. Why don't we try something? Why don't we spend not too much money on it and learn through our mistakes, as well as through the mistakes of others, how to do this better? Rapid prototyping is uh, the way that technology firms work, uh, alpha testing, beta testing, etc. But it's essentially about learning by doing. So let's create models, let's create simulations, let's try this in a small test market um, to kick it off. So, innovation is on the agenda now for most boards. Growth is on the agenda now for most businesses. Um, you're most often tasked with inventing those new ideas and solutions, how are you going to get them through? Thanks very much.